Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Ubuntu 24.04.2 LTS version on VMware Workstation. First go to Ubuntu official website and download. Then click on download Ubuntu. Then see here we have the desktop server and other components. In this video we are going to see how to install desktop edition. But the process is same for server as well. Okay. So, click on download Ubuntu desktop. See here, the latest version is Ubuntu 24.04.2. Okay, and then click on download. This will download the IS file and size is 5.9 gigabytes. If you want to download by using torrenting, you have to click on check out our alternative downloads. Click on it. See here, we have the BitTorrent links for Ubuntu 24.04. But if you want direct ISO download, just click on download. Wait a moment, download will be started. See, download started. Go to downloads. See here, download started and its size is 5.9 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have downloaded by using torrent link. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMware Workstation. Click on VMware Workstation. Click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new virtual machine. Both are same. Click on next, select the installer disk image file. Then click on browse and select the downloaded Ubuntu desktop ISO file. Then click on open, click on next, personalize Linux. Click on next. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. I am giving UB240402. Then select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. Click on browse. Then select the path where you have the enough space. Then click on next. Here we have to provide virtual hard disk size. I am giving 100 gigabytes it is up to you then click on next see this is the virtual machine settings if you want to change any one of these properties click on customize hardware or you can change once we click on finish also but don't select this one power on this virtual machine after creation then click on finish still if you want edit settings of this virtual machine Click on this edit virtual machine settings or right click on it and select settings or go to VM and settings. All three options are same. Okay. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Now select the language and click on next. Click on next. Select keyboard layout language and click on next connect to the internet select the use wired connection or if you don't want to connect select do not connect to internet then click on next see what do you want to do with ubuntu try ubuntu or install ubuntu so to install permanently we have to select install ubuntu then click on next how would you like to install ubuntu interactive installation or automated so i'm going with interactive installation then click on next Feature sel uh, app selection, I am going with the default selection. Then click on next. If you want to install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware, select the checkbox. If you want to download and install support for additional media formats, you have to select the checkboxes. Okay, so click on next. See now, disk setup this is the fresh installation. So I am going with erase disk and install Ubuntu. If you want additional features, click on here and you can select these features. Okay, it is up to you. Then click on next. Now we have to create our setup account. So I am giving user full name as Artuskus and this will be the computer name or host name. Later also we can change this one. This is a username, then provide the password for this user. Then see here require my password to login. Okay, keep the checkbox and if you have active directory click on here I don't have anything so click on next now select the time zone select location from this list and select the time zone 
okay or you can select time zone on this globe or world map okay so suppose if you are from us you can select here see once we selected location and time zone has been changed so i am from india so select on the india map okay so click on next see this is the installation summary if you want to modify any one of these options you can click on back and you can edit the properties or settings okay i'm okay with all the settings so click on install see it is copying file so installation has been started this may take time so i'm going to pause this video and after installation it will ask us to reboot the system then we will reboot the system and perform the post installation steps for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you See, installation has been completed. Now click on restart now. Now click on username and provide the password that we have set. We want to get full screen. You have to click on enter full screen mode. See, you got the full screen. Okay. Now click on next. I don't want to enable Ubuntu Pro. So select skip for now and click on skip. I don't want to share system data, so select no, don't share system data and click on next. All done, click on finish. Now click on show applications, click on terminal. Let me increase the font. File preferences, run name. Select this custom font, select it and use this plus button to increase the font. Select to close. See, font has been increased. Now verify the version of the Ubuntu that we have installed more slash etc. OS hyphen release. See, we have installed Ubuntu 24.04.2 LDS version and its code name is Noble. Control A. Now verify the IP of this machine. IF config or you can give IP ADD. I will show you the other options. See, unable to find, we can get it by running IP ADD. See, this is the IP. Okay, but if you want to get IP by using IF config, we have to install this command sudo apt install net hyphen tools hit enter provide the password of sudo account it is done control l now run f config again see this is the ip of the machine okay control a the first step after connecting to ubuntu is we have to update the package sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade type 5 for confirmation and hit enter all done so in this video we have seen how to download and install ubuntu 24.04.2 ldh version on vmware workstation for more tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you